Welcome back to Tennis Talk. My name's Cam Williams, and I wanted to go through the three things that I learned during this Australian Open for 2022. A lot of happened over the last couple of weeks, and I just want to have a chat about the three things that I learned. First thing I learned was that the next generation are closing the gap on the GOATs. We saw at the end of last year with Medvedev beating uh, Djokovic in the Grand Slam final at the US Open. Of course, Zverev beating Djokovic last year as well at the Olympics. The gap is closing, and of course, Medvedev this year uh, nearly beating Rafa in the final of the Australian Open. Shapovalov almost nearly beating Rafa as well. The gap is closing very, very quickly between the GOATs and the next generation. They're getting a lot closer. The second thing I learned at this Australian Open was that Ash Barty is very underrated not as just the greatest player at the moment, but one of the greatest of all time. She is racking up the records. She's got three slams now, three out of the four, two on, one on clay, one on grass, one on a hard court. One of the only players to be able to do that in the last couple of years. And she could definitely win the US Open, complete the set. Not to mention that, she also won the Australian Open without dropping a set, which is a big, big deal. She's gonna be more weeks at number one than Justine Ennen in a couple of months time as well. So she is racking up the records. Now I'm not comparing her to Serena Williams or Margaret Court or you know Chris Evert or Navratilova, one of those players who have you know 15 plus slams. I'm comparing her to the players that have won you know five to 10 slams in the modern era and have done really, really well over their careers and who we consider as some of the legends of the game. And the final thing I learned at the Australian Open in 2022 was that Rafa is the GOAT. I mean, it's hard to deny that he is the GOAT right now. Now, can Djokovic and Federer catch up to Nadal and take the status of GOAT away from him? Yes, they can. But as of right now, it's very hard to deny Rafa as the greatest player of all time. He's got more slams than anybody else. Of course, weeks at number one, all of those other conversations can be had. But at the end of the day, whoever has the most big trophies is the GOAT. And Rafa's standing on top of the tree at the moment with 21. So it's very hard to see him getting knocked off unless Djokovic comes back with a vengeance over the next couple of months. Let me know down in the comments below, what are some of the things that you learned over the last couple of weeks at the Australian Open? Is there players that you learned? Maybe you didn't expect to do well and they've come out of nowhere. Maybe some players that you forgot about that have, you know, Madison Keys and Simona Halep who have come out of nowhere or some players that maybe disappointed you. Maybe you thought the players were better than they were. Let me know down in the comments below some of the things that you learned at this year's Australian Open.